Welcome to Tomahawk DIY everyone. I'm Mike. I just finished recharging the air conditioning system on my 2008 Toyota Sienna with this AC Pro. It was pretty easy. There were about eight steps. Under 50 bucks for this can. That's a whole lot better of a deal for me than uh, the thousand dollars they told me it would be to replace my compressor to really deal with the leaks and problems I'm having. Be sure to watch my follow-up video showing performance 10 weeks later. Take the bands off. So this thing's got instructions. We're gonna take a look at those. Got about eight steps here. Step number one, turn on the car and turn on the air conditioning. We're gonna set it to maximum AC and turn it up to high. Now I've got a thermometer here. We're gonna sit it in. It's currently sitting at 93 degrees. I'm gonna pop the hood. Step number two, figure out if the air conditioner compressor is running. We're seeing belts and lots of different wheels moving, and we're gonna see if we can find one that stops when we turn the air conditioner off. It's gonna be this one right here. So take a good look where the light's shining, the air conditioning compressor. Let's go turn the AC off and come back and look. You may have to turn the air conditioning off of maximum, and then up here's the air AC, we're gonna turn it off. Okay, with the AC off, we see that belts are still running. And we come over here to this compressor. Compressor's not rotating and spinning. So we know our compressor's working. If your compressor's not running at all, it says to go ahead and add about a half can of this and see if that gets the compressor to run. If it doesn't, then you've got some bigger problems and may need to get compressor replaced or other things fixed. We need to find the low pressure port here on the uh, coolant system, on the air conditioning system. So let me show you how. A couple things to point out. Um, obviously the directions have lots of safety instructions. I can't be responsible for any actions you take. You're responsible for your own things. Don't do stuff if you're not comfortable. Uh, one thing it says, don't set this can on a hot engine. Also you'll see we're going to use some gloves and safety glasses here. So as we look around here, this can take a little bit of work. And this is a Toyota Sienna, um, but the concepts and principles will be the same. The air conditioning uh, AC Pro warns that electric vehicles and ones that don't have a uh, compressor you can't do this with but we're looking for some tubes there's one here that's larger comes back there we'll take a close up and if we follow the lines we're also going to find that they tie into the radiator here at the front of the car and that helps dissipate the heat I believe this is called the expansion tank um, follow this line around we're looking for the low pressure port keep coming around follows down there and then we see this little black cap. If we look close at it, it's got an L on it. There, this one has an L on it. Now, there's a few other things you can look at. The diameter of the tube is larger than the high pressure side. And then next to it, we have a small tube. So a small little silver one, that's the high pressure side. Come back through here, and we're going to find another cap. This one, this one has a, an H on it. It's also good to know that this high pressure port is a different size than the low pressure port. We found the low pressure port, right there. Step number four, there's this safety disc right here. This helps make sure the can doesn't get punctured during shipment, it hasn't been used, we've got to remove it. Screw unscrew, unscrew up here, we got the safety disc removed. Step number five, we've got to connect the quick connect to the low pressure side of the system. We're gonna take these zip ties off, Remember, this is only gonna fit on the low pressure side, not the high pressure side. So that'll help make sure you have the right one. We're gonna be connecting the quick connect right down here. Here's the quick connect. We're gonna listen for a click as it goes on. This is the only one it should fit on. Now I don't have, I do not have the can attached to the other end here. I hear it snapped on and it stays in place. Now you need to make sure the engine's running when this happens. Uh, this next step. The next step we're going to be reading the pressure gauge here when the clutch is engaged. So I'm going to be setting the temperature here. Earlier we measured it was about 83 so I'm setting it halfway between the 80 and the 85 there. I've got to get the engine turned back on so we can actually read the pressure. So the pressure is down in this white zone not up in the green zone so we need to add some. After checking the pressure we're going to take the hose off and we're going to screw the can on. I'm going to go ahead and screw this back on as I screw it on it will puncture the seal 
at the end of the can here. I'm not going to squeeze the trigger. All right, I heard and felt it puncture the seal. Now that we've got the hose screwed onto the can, we're gonna reconnect our seal here. Check and confirm it's still sitting good. I'm not squeezing the trigger. Confirm that it's on. Put this thing on. I'm gonna be shaking the can. And then the trigger's not squeezed. We'll squeeze it here in a moment. I'm going to squeeze the trigger all the way down. As I squeeze it, I'm gonna turn it from 12 o'clock to three o'clock, and I'm gonna stop. Continue squeezing the trigger and shaking and tilting the can from vertical to turning 90 degrees several times. Do this every 10 to 15 seconds. Pause to check the gauge each time to see if it moves into the green zone. Starting to get there. I'm going to take a little pause now and go check the air conditioning temperature. Remember, I'm not going to set this thing down on the hot engine. Disconnect it, moving it away. Now inside here, the temperature is dropping. We're at about 73 degrees right now. When this thing's operating correctly, we ought to be down around 50, maybe the high 40s. I checked my other vehicle earlier today and it was about 47. All right, let's, let's reconnect this thing. So my gauge is showing the black line and the red line are right together here, the low red line. We want to get it up in the middle between the V on the high and the low. Remember, we got this thing set at the temperature outside. So let's squeeze the trigger and we'll turn it again. Squeezing the trigger, rotate, shake a little bit, rotate, shake a little bit. We're getting there. Do it again. So the black gauge line is just inside the red line. So we're getting really close. Okay, let's go inside, look in the vehicle again. I'm going to disconnect this. Obviously, you stick your hands down the engine, make sure you're not getting it where it shouldn't be. Ah, now that feels much better. We're blowing out in the high 40s, so that's good. Uh, it's certainly cooled off. I'll give it a couple weeks here, a few weeks here, and we'll see how long this is lasting. It really wasn't bad, putting this thing on, charging it. Uh, I felt like I really wanted to go kind of slow be sure I didn't uh, end up overcharging, ending up in the red zone, which leaves you with other problems and you gotta deal with too much uh, coolant in there. Thanks so much for watching Tomahawk DIY. Hope this was helpful. I've got a link where you can pick this up from Amazon. Like the video, subscribe, leave some comments. Appreciate your support and have a great day.